Hey guys, I've had a busy day. Uh, well, as you can see, I have a floor. I found my floor. <laughs> yeah, it didn't actually take me that long to do. Back, I don't know, about a couple of hours on and off because I'd come and sit here and have a break. Um, but yeah, been round with the vacuum cleaner as well. Um, did do a few other jobs while I was at it, like uh, install the light over here. <laughs> Put the um, my little two foot fluorescent light up. Yeah, it's not going to work, so I turned it off here, didn't I? Duh. There we go. That actually lights up this area quite nicely. I don't think I'll need spotlights, to be honest. Um, but yeah, there's two reasons why I've done that. One, because it was easier to run the cable to there, as I didn't have a cable long enough. Because um, I've actually this is actually an old cloverleaf cable that I cut the end off, or cut it to length and put the fluorescent light connector on. And yes, it is earthed. I'm daft, not stupid. It is earthed. <laughs> but the second reason was um, the last couple of years when I've put Christmas lights up on the ceiling. I've used this area as a central point for power, so I used to sit a extension outlet like this on the shelf and then plug it in there. But I thought if I hang this up on the wall, then I can just drop the cables down the wall here for the Christmas lights and just plug them straight in. <coughs> um, that's the theory anyway. And if I need any extra, I can just add an extension socket on there and sit it up there. So. It sort of killed two birds with one stone doing that. But yeah, looking at my layout, you can see on camera that's actually lit quite well. So I'll turn it off so you can see the difference. Oh yeah, there's... There's a lot of difference. <laughs> uh, I think I'll just leave those up there for the time being. At least for the time being. Um... Uh, yeah, I've brought this in off the land and out of the way because that sofa has actually taken up a fair bit of room. So I want that gone ASAP, really. But I need an extra pair of hands. Um, I fixed the lights on this; they do work nice and bright now. Um, the problem was I put the wrong bulb in the tail light, and after I changed that, it works perfectly. So. Oh. Um, I do have a couple of things, you know, um, that is on my mind, that I can talk about as well. Um, the 1st of October, what's today, it's the 5th, isn't it? Yeah, so five days ago, it was made law, or made illegal, I should say, to smoke in a car, or any vehicle, if you have someone under the age of 18 present. So uh, that's now illegal to do over here. Uh, and today, new laws came in that say supermarkets and large stores and stores that employ more than 250 people have to charge five pence per shopping bag. Um, small little shops don't have to, they don't have to charge, from what I can gather anyway. It's just large stores. Some shops, medium sort of shops, they can charge less, I think it's two pence a bag. So I can't remember, as a shop me and mum were in and they said they have to charge two pence for the bag, but I can't remember what shop we were in though. So, um... If you're in the in the UK, it's a good idea to take your own bag shopping. I'll get some of those um, bags for life. Um, yes, it is kind of annoying because it takes the convenience of uh, just dropping your groceries in the bags, especially at the um, self-service checkouts. But I think most of us have to admit we do use far too many plastic bags. I've got shitloads in the kitchen. <laughs> At my, one of my cupboards is just full of bags that I've collected up. Because 
Well, they do come in handy for lots of things, but there we go. Um, sure, there was something else I thought of, but I can't think of it now. Um, perhaps if I stare at the cat, you might um, jog my memory. No, you can't think of anything either. I don't think you need any food in your dish. Where have you emptied it? There was some in there last time I looked. Right, um... I haven't decided if I'm going to take my tools over to Mum's and um, play with my bikes over there. Um, part of me wants to, to avoid being, well, snitched on unnecessarily or falsely because um, I was falsely um, falsely snitched on to the DWP because apparently I work I think I've gone through this on another video but yeah but part of me wants to say why should I bother when I'm not doing anything wrong why should I make such a change when I've not done anything wrong, I'm not working, I'm just doing what I enjoy doing. Which is playing around with the bikes and fixing them up. I'll suck them in, because I'll bloody fix them up and donate the buggers to charity. Then I'll bugger all anyone can do. Well, as the guy said when I saw him Friday, he said there's nothing to worry about anyway. But, uh... I don't know. Because I don't actually have that much more room at Mum's anyway. Especially in that workshop. That workshop looks like a bomb's gone off. And I don't use it. <laughs> I swear my stepdad is worse than me. So I said to Mum, I said, I can't do any bikes in that workshop anyway. And she says, why? I said, because I can't get in there anyway. The fl there's just crap all over the floor. Sawdust from where it's cut up wood and tools and other things that are just all over the place. But, uh, not that I can talk really here, can I? <laughs> I mean, you've, m you've seen on camera what my flat can get like, so... But, uh... I do like it when it is nice and tidy like this. I just wish I had it in me to uh, put things away when I'm done and not just leave things out and move on to something else. Because that's what happens. I'll do one project and then move on to another project without cleaning away the old project first. So I'll just end up with... Uh, crap here, there, and everywhere, and tripping over things, and bleh. yeah, it's a nightmare. <laughs> well, I posted a photo of that table up on several Lego Facebook groups, and um, someone has just commented, it, commented on it and asked, What's the white building on the corner of the table? Is it a hospital? And they're referring to that one here, next to the bike. Um, it's not, but I can't understand why they'd um, think that. Um, it's actually meant to be just like a little block of flats like this, you know. Um, a sort of well, it's actually meant to be um, luxury flats, the sort of things you might find beside the seaside. Okay. My cat has just gone running past the bicycle, knocked over my cordless drill, which has landed on the button for the floor lamp and turned it on. <laughs> oh yeah, that actually reminds me of what to move the floor lamp back to sort of up that end somewhere. So I may end up actually taking them spotlights down. Of 
could easily hook a spotlight up under there because I can wire it to the um, fluorescent light because you can chain them up, those type of lights. There's a connection on the other end that I could um, tap into, so to speak. May have to change it for a standard um, connector block, but that would save running a separate cable. To that, oh, that reminds me, I've got to change the fuse in that plug for that fluorescent light. It's still got the 13 amp in it. That's not meant to be a 13 amp, it's got to be a 3 amp, so... But then again, if I run another lamp from it, I might want to up that to a 5. Nah, I think a 3 would be fine. Just depends what I want to do, because I've got... <coughs> ah. Back into the bedroom. When I can remember where I've thrown the bag, I think it's this one. It is. What about that? Ooh, look, a pencil. I'm looking for my pencils. I don't actually know if it's still in here. Oh, I found the four way extension socket I wanted. Is it in here? Yeah. Well, it was in here. Where's that gone? Hey, I found the other tape measure, found a spirit level, found a few tools. Uh, yeah, that's stuff I bought up from the shed. That's actually the wrong bag. <laughs> no comments on my stupidity. Okay, I've got the right bag this time. <laughs> this is the one I want. Yeah, this is what I bought at the car boot sale earlier in the year, when I bought the two that are up there in the hallway. Um, this has got a built-in switch, and it's already got a cutout for a cable there. I only need a bit of two-core cable, which I've got plenty of. I've got plenty of bloody old power cables I don't use. Um, but I was actually debating whether to put this one in there, because this one will dim better than the halogen, but... I don't know, I might just leave that there. Or I could... If I did need extra light, just um, screw this straight to the wall under there and run a cable from this to the fluorescent light. Then I've got something, you know, perhaps to light up here. I'm not sure, I don't know. Um, I'll wait until it gets completely dark. But then I'll turn the fluorescent on and I'll just see how well it lights up this table alone and I'll see if I do need another spotlight on there they're actually quite bright for three energy savers I'm sure that bottom one is bright I think I paid about five pounds for that lamp out of a charity shop it's bloody good isn't it you don't often get electrical goods in charity shops because they have to have them tested uh, and if they can't find someone who's qualified to PAT test, which is, um, stands for Portable Appliance Testing, um, who could do, that, do it either cheap or for free, you know, donate their time sort of thing, um, they don't really sell electrical goods, because it's actually law, if you're selling electrical goods in a shop, second hand, that is, not brand new, second hand, or used, such as a lamp, stereo system, amplifier. As far as laptops would go, it would just have to be the mains adapter that would have to be tested. Um, I don't know about the monitors. I suppose they would have as they or would have a, a mains power lead. Computers, anything like that would all have to be pat tested. Even light fittings like this would have to have a test sticker on them. Um, but the only problem is with pat testing, it only tests that they're safe to use. It doesn't guarantee they work. So it's still a good idea to have them pat tested and then plug them in to see if they work. Or you could plug them in before they've been tested if you you know, you're really brave. <laughs> Meow. Meow. 
No, you're not going to do it, are you? Sometimes he meows back, but he's not going to do it because I've got the camera on. <laughs> uh, one thing I hate about dull days is, like today, I've had that on from about 3 o'clock this afternoon. <sighs> Which is why I wouldn't mind actually um, upgrading to LEDs in here. Even if it was just in like a lamp like that, it would save on power. I actually, um, when my money comes through from PayPal, I may actually um, go and buy three edit well they're actually spotlights so they wouldn't be any good in there would they? I'd need like the um, LED golf ball bulbs that's what I would need in that because uh, that would be nice so I could then leave those up and put some LED spot bulbs in them go, complete, go completely modern we'll have LED bulbs everywhere <laughs> but yeah, it's not a um, not the cheapest upgrade to make, but if you can get good LED bulbs, I think it's a good upgrade to make and worth it. I mean, I'm looking at the light coming off my bedroom through my bedroom door, and it looks like I've just got an ordinary bulb in there looking at the um, light reflecting on this wall, but it isn't, it's LEDs. Warm white LEDs. I actually have to say, for five LEDs in there, that's actually pretty bright. You know? it's enough light to see by in here, which is all I need. So I don't do any sort of um, projects in here, you know, I don't play with the Lego in here. I've got the extra lights on that desk for when I do tinker on there. Which is the main reason I want a, um, another chair, another computer chair. So I can just sit it here, because then I can just wheel it up the corner or something out of the way. But, uh, yeah, I've got plenty of light in here to see. Put a plug on the end of this, that will give me another four-way extension. Although it's really short now, because I did nick a load of cable off of it. <laughs> That's where the cable came from for the spotlights in the um, lounge. Yeah, those ones over there. <laughs> um, and the cable that I put on the extension socket, because that runs all the way down there, all the way around to that socket. But uh, it's still usable if I put a plug on it, it's just not going to be as long. But, uh, that don't matter. No doubt I will want an extra one somewhere when I get the Kumbo lights up. Mind you, in the windows, depends what I do, because I normally only have like two mains operated sets in the window here. Uh, and two battery ones, one in each end. But, I've got that much of a selection of lights this time, it might change. Might change. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'm happy. There will be at some point a two seater sofa going there as well. Uh, I'm not sure when. Just whenever I can get hold of one. I've got one more parcel to come, because I bought a um, Lego base plate last night on eBay. It cost me all of £3.20, which was a bargain for what it was. Um, I've never got one any cheaper. I'm surprised no one else bid on it, actually, but it's a blue one. Twice the size of, of um, what I've got on there already. But I need another two. <laughs> Another two big ones and another one half size. And then that's complete. I've got the water. 
Well, uh, I suppose I could do some more work around the back there. Might do something later, actually. Uh, well, that is all for this video. You know, if you've got any thoughts on the paying for carrier bags or the smoking in cars, which I actually think is a good idea, especially during this time of year when the chances are people will be smoking in the cars with the windows wound up because it's so cold or it's pissing it down with rain outside. It's not nice on the kids. Because it does, you know, affect other people's health other than the person smoking a cigarette. Um, you know, I'm an adult. I don't smoke. But I do have ashtrays because I don't mind people smoking in here. Because it's not often people smoke in here because it's not often I have people in my home. So, But kids don't really get much of a choice. So leave, leave your opinions in the comments section below. I do read any comments that do get left. I may not always reply. It just depends if I've got something that I can reply with. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do read them. Not that I get many, so comment. I want to read comments. Even trolling comments. Leave a comment trolling me if you want. I don't care. <laughs> Take the piss out of something. I don't care. Take the piss out of my Lego. I don't bloody care. If it keeps you occupied, it'll keep me occupied. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go. So, thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't like it. Or dislike it if you just want to troll me. It's up to you, you know. It's your choice. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.